Really good. <laughs> Goes without saying, right? Yeah, definitely. Great victory. Uh, definitely a great victory. You look very poised and very calm. Thank you. How do you feel about this victory? I felt awesome about it, man. I did feel calm. You know, just kind of, uh, just kind of, uh, just finished off where I, where I stopped the last fight. You know, uh, the three rounds with McCall standing the whole time. I like felt really comfortable. Obviously, we have a new coach, Dwayne Ludwig, who is just has us all on point and. Man, I just felt super calm out there, man. The crowd was awesome. It's just been like that all week. You know, got two teammates, and we were just having a good time out there, man. And, uh, you know, this guy's from the Bay Area. I was just kind of pretending he went to our gym in Sacramento and tried to spar me, and I got to hit him as hard as I want. So it uh, worked out pretty good. When did you, did you tell that he was hurt to the body there? Uh, I think it was two kicks before I hit him with the, with the liver shot. Um, you know, I was throwing a lot of left high kicks, so he was going high. And once again, you know, Dwayne Ludwig and, and my other cornerman, Jimmy Gifford, you know, body, body, you know, even with the punches, they were saying. So, uh, you know, I knew he was lifting up his hand, uh, his, his hand to block the high kicks, went to the body. And, you know, I landed a few of those good ones uh, in my last fight, too. So, you know, I'm just, they were just, they just been landing for me in practice and everything. And once I heard him with that, you know, I knew I didn't want to kick again, and I just kind of faked uh, the overhand right I've been hitting with. His body opened right up, and it was just, it was just, it felt, it felt great. <laughs> so, so, Joseph, I asked the same question to TJ, but about the whole Mendevita Shaw thing, their pluses of it are that you have a team, you know, your team here, but the minuses are in camp. You may not get singular attention and focus that you might need. So, how did you approach this, and how did you feel about that? You know, the coaches do a great job of giving us all, you know, the attention and everything we need, and we have so many other teammates. You know, Faber, you know, not to mention, just fought a week okay. before that. So, you know, in a week's time, you know, we get four wins. And, um, you know, the great thing about all of us training together is, uh, you know, no one's in the off season and like just coming in like, oh, I just need to go spar real quick. Like everyone's peaking, you know, and with the same goal. And like, I'm getting the best Chad Mendez, the best Uriah, the best TJ, you know, when we're all sparring. So just having a room like that, like those three guys trying to kill me, you know, like one after the other, you know, no one else, you know, can, can really bring that. So, you know, that's the great part is all of us are just peaking at the same time. And like I said, the coaching staff uh, has just been doing an amazing job. How do you think you've evolved, if you have at all, since, you know, not winning the title? I know that was a hard loss for you, but yeah. obviously, you know, it's tried and true to say that you learn more from a loss, but so how, how have you changed? How have you evolved since then? Oh, 100%. I mean, not to mention just boring things like techniques and like everything that people talk about wrestling and like jujitsu and stand up, like all that boring stuff. Like mentally, I think I just improved a ton. And biggest thing I honestly learned from the loss in my title fight is I was a different person then and I realized, uh, that this isn't like life or death you know I treated that fight like it was life or death like there was no other way and you know I lost and it hurt but I didn't die you know I still had my health and my family and like people that love me and I was just like you know like I just need to treat this as fun and you know if you guys know me or anyone else that knows me like fight week I'm you know it's good times I'm ready to go and that's that's how I need to fight you know it's just any other day I need to go out there and have fun and that's when I fight the best and uh you know if it makes sense it's like I almost wanted it too bad and you know I was too tight out there like tonight just fought way better and you know even in the in the McCall fight just you know and and before that just just staying loose like I said just realizing you know it's not life or death and having fun with, with the whole thing how'd you feel about your tan coming in this week? my tan <laughs> was it all right that's right. I have a tan? Oh, I didn't even... I know you're usually working out outside and everything to make sure Yeah, you yeah, yeah, I do that. Killing two birds with one stone. It's not fake. I won't do any fake and bake or whatever, but, you know, why not work out outside? You know, like 15 minutes left, jump rope outside, get a little workout, enjoy the sun, and uh, and get a tan. I mean, everyone looks better with the tan, let's be honest. <laughs> where, you, where, where are you in the division now? I mean, they got you at the, the, the number one ranking spot. You know, you, you get about the champion, so, I mean... Where do you feel like you are? I guess in the number one spot, if that's where they have me. Um, you know, I don't think anyone in the division can beat me. Obviously, you know, Demetrius did, but you know, I'd love another shot at him. And the division's so small, man. I haven't felt like it's, you know, developed greatly. And, you know, we're still kind of like, you know, right there where I, I could have went for the title shot maybe last fight if I would have asked for it. So, you know, I'm definitely always up for it. I'm always ready for it. You know, um, last fight, I just kind of felt like, man, I, I just fought Demetrius like yesterday. I felt, you know, I don't want to just go in there again. I kind of made that mistake at 135. I fought the champ twice in a year and then I was stuck no matter who I beat or how bad I beat him. Like I wasn't going to get another title shot. So, you know, for me, I just thought it was better for me to develop and everything like we said and uh, just evolve and the division too like you know there needs to be other names out there we need to fight you know other guys like I wanted to fight you know another guy besides you know the 
this this bunch and you know i know mighty mouse probably did too you know he's beat the top three guys you know and uh you know i just think it gives gives the 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 peep the fans uh a way to at least know other guys you know out, out there so because there's some some awesome fighters out there in the division did i answer the question yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thanks, all right cool thanks guys